Hello students, in this part, we'll learn how to find centroid of area under the curve. We'll find uh, how to find centroid of area under the curve. Centroid of area under the curve is obtained using integration method. Area under curve, as area under curve cannot be splitted into simple figures like rectangle, triangle, circle, etc. So in this method, integration method, we can we uh, mark or we uh, take the elemental area in the form of some elemental strip. Then we find the centroid of the elemental strip and then we integrate the expression with the appropriate limits so as to find the centroid of total area under the curve. Now you need to decide that if area under curve is resting on x-axis, we take the elemental strip vertical. If area under curve is resting on y-axis, we take elemental strip horizontal. And if area under curve is resting on both axes or not resting on both axes, elemental strip can be taken horizontal or vertical, will not make much difference. So we will cover three problems of centroid of area under curve. Okay. Now, find by direct integration method centroid of shaded area under the curve y is equal to kx raised to n uh, between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to. This is what is shaded area has been shown. You have to find centroid of area under this curve. Now, for this curve, we have uh, drawn the diagram little to bigger size. Now, we uh, write this point O, this point as B, this point as A. The equation of the curve is y is kx raised to n. As the area under curve is resting on x-axis, we have taken elemental strip vertically. Elemental strip is of thickness dx at a distance x from y-axis. I'm assuming that height of the strip is y. So centroid of this strip, this strip can be treated as a rectangle. All right. And its height is y. So centroid will be at y by 2 from x-axis. The centroid of this uh, strip will be at what distance from uh, y-axis? x plus dx by 2. So this is all has been mentioned over there. So we take the elemental strip of thickness dx and height y. Elemental area of this strip, it is a rectangle, will be y dx. Coordinates of centroid of this elemental area will be x coordinate will be measured from y axis. So x plus dx by 2. y coordinate is y by 2. As dx by 2 is very uh, small, it can be neglected. So uh, coordinates of centroid of elemental strip are x and y by 2. Equation of the curve is y is kx raised to n. At point A, coordinates x coordinate is A, y is B. So we substitute the value x is equal to A and y is equal to B. So it becomes B is equal to k A raised to n or k is equal to B upon A raised to n. Substitute the value of k into the equation, you get the modified equation of the curve. Now, how will you find x bar? x bar will be using integration method, elemental area into x coordinate of center of the elemental area, that is numerator, upon elemental area, and then integration of numerator and denominator. So this will give you as good as summation ax. This will be as good as summation a, that means total area. So numerator, dA into x. dA is what? y dx. Now, value of y will be substituted from the equation of the modified b upon a raised to n, x raised to n into x dx, right? So this becomes x raised to n plus 1 dx. Then b upon a raised to n is constant. x raised to n plus 1 integration will be your integrating with respect to x, x raised to n plus 2 upon n plus 2. Upper limit a, lower limit is 0. We substitute these limits, then it becomes b upon a raised to n, a raised to n plus 2 upon n plus 2. a raised to n gets cancelled, a square b upon n plus 2. Denominator is integration of dA. It is total area under the curve. Y dx, you are integrating with respect to x. Lower limit is 0. Upper limit is a. Total area under the curve, B, uh, y value has been substituted. B upon a raised to n, x raised to n dx, limit 0 to a of integration. B upon a raised to n outside, integration is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Lower limit 0, upper limit a. B upon a raised to n. This becomes a raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. a raised to n gets cancelled, a b upon n plus 1. x bar is numerator upon denominator. Numerator is a square b upon n plus 2. Denominator is a b upon n plus 1. Here a b, a b gets cancelled. You get a into n plus 1 upon n plus 1. What is y bar? Elemental area into y coordinate of center of elemental area, which we understood it to be y by 2 from x axis. d into y by 2 upon d. Denominator will not change. Total area under curve will be remaining same. Numerator we will have to calculate. dA is y dx into y by 2. This becomes y square by 2 dx. Value of y should be substituted from here. So y value is y square b square a raised to 2n x raised to 2n. 
All right. Constant part has been written outside. D square upon two a raised to two n. X raised to two n integration will be x raised to two n plus one upon two n plus one. Lower limit zero, upper limit a. Substitute the limits, simplify it. It comes out to be a d square upon two into two n plus one. Denominator is already calculated. This is denominator a b upon n plus one. That is total area to come. So what will be y bar? Numerator upon denominator. Numerator we got it a b square upon two into two n plus one. Denominator is a b into n plus one. A b gets cancelled. You get b into n plus one upon two into two n plus one. This way x bar and y bar are the x and y coordinates of centroid of this area under the curve. Okay. We take next problem. This problem, area under curve, is not resting on any of the two axes. So you can take the strip vertical or you can take the strip horizontal. If you want to integrate with respect to x, you should take the strip vertical. If you want to integrate with respect to y, you should take the strip horizontal. All right. Locate the coordinates of centroid of the shaded area enclosed by parabola y is equal to x square by four and straight line y is equal to x as shown in the figure. All right. Now. So we have decided to take the elemental strip vertical. Now you can see that we have drawn the diagram. This is elemental strip. This elemental strip is of thickness dx at a distance x from y axis. Height of this strip, average height of the strip is y dash. This y dash is nothing but y two minus y one. You can see that height of the strip is y dash, and uh, this height is y two. This height up to the bottom is y one. So y dash can be said uh, said to be y two minus y one. All right. Now. At point A, at point A, x is equal to four and y is equal to four. Hope you all understand it. How do you arrive that x is equal to four and y is equal to four? At point A, the two values of y are equal or not? At point A, two values of y are equal, so you can equate them. Y is equal to x square by four is equal to x. So x is equal to four and y is equal to four. That means coordinates of point A are four and four. Right now. Area of the elemental strip is d a y dash d x y dash is y two minus y one y two is what y coordinate from the upper curve I mean the value of y from the upper curve y one is the value of y from the lower curve so y two is x and y one is x square by four coordinates of centroid of this elemental area will be x coordinate will be x plus d x y two or x y coordinate is y one plus y dash y two y one plus y dash y two x bar is d a into x upon d a numerator D A is y dash d x into x. Y dash is x minus x square by four into x. Open out the bracket. You are integrating with respect to x. So lower limit will be zero to cover the whole area, and upper limit will be four. Okay. Then you have integrate. Uh, you have to integrate x. Uh, open out the bracket. This is x square minus x cube by four. Integration of x square is x cube by three. X cube is x raised to four by four. Four into four sixteen. Put the lower limit zero, upper limit four. It comes five point three three two. Denominator is integration of dA. dA is y dash dx. You are integrating with respect to x. Lower limit is zero. At area starts from here and ends here. Four zero two four. Substitute the value of y dash. That is x minus x square by four dx. X integration is x square by two. X square is x cube by three. All right. X cube by three, so here it should have been three into four, twelve. Put the lower limit and upper limit, zero to four, two point six six seven. X bar is numerator upon denominator. You get it two. Y bar is d a into y coordinate. Y coordinate is what y one plus y dash y two upon integration of d a. Denominator value is already ready, two point six seven. You have to take up only numerator. Numerator, you are going to integrate once again. D a is y dash d x. So you are integrating with respect to x. So lower limit is zero, upper limit is four. Y dash value is x minus x square by four. Y one is y one plus y dash y two. So this is y one is x square by four plus y dash. Y dash is y two minus y one upon two. So we need to simplify all these uh, expressions. All are in terms of x. Then you simplify it. All right, and multiply it. So all this is uh, later on. This comes in this form: x minus square by four dx half x plus x square by four. Half can be taken outside. 
x minus x square by 4. Uh, so it is a minus b into a plus b. So this can be written as a square minus b square. So x square minus x raised to 4 by 16. Integration of x square is x cube by 3. x4 is x raised to 5 by 5. So 16 fives are 80. So put the lower limit 0, upper limit 4. It comes 4.267. So y bar is numerator upon denominator. Y bar numerator is 4.267, denominator is 2.667. That comes out to 1.6. So this way, we have found x bar, uh, x and y coordinates of centroid of this uh, area bound between the straight line and the curve as shown in the figure. Now we'll take one problem where, where in the area under curve is resting on y axis. Locate the centroid of the shaded area shown in the figure. This time you can see that shaded area, uh, it is uh, along y-axis, it starts at 1, it ends at 4. So if I'm integrating with respect to y, then my lower limit will be 1, upper limit will be 4. All right. As area under curve is resting on y-axis, we'll take the elemental strip horizontal of width x and thickness dy at distance y. Right. Equation of the curve is y is equal to 5 minus x square by 5. Now, Equation as we have taken the strip horizontal, so you will be integrating with respect to y. So you should express x in terms of y. So equation of the curve gives you y is equal to 5 minus x square by 5. So x square by 5 is 5 minus 5, 5 minus y. So x square is equal to 5 into 5 minus y. x is equal to 2.236, 5 minus y raised to 1 by 2. dA is x into dy. All right. So x into dy value. Uh, x value is 2.23 y minus 5 minus y raised to 1 by 2 into dy. Coordinates of center will be x by 2 and y. x bar is dA into x by 2, x coordinate upon dA. Numerator, uh, denominator we have calculated first. Total area is dA. dA is 2.236 5 minus y raised to 1 by 2 dy. You are integrating with respect to y. So lower limit will be 1, upper limit will be 4 as already discussed. 2.236 we can take outside constant 5 minus y raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2. Since it is minus y, minus sign will also come. Lower limit is 1, upper limit is 4. Right? You can use your calculator for definite integral also for this part. Or you can go step by step now. You can further simplify it after putting the limits into this. And then it comes 10.437. Now the numerator. What is going to be numerator? dA into x by 2. dA value we have already simplified 2.23 y minus y raised to 1 by 2 dy. All right? Into x by 2 x is this value divided by 2.236 by 2 into 5 minus y raised to 1 by 2. Right? So this, this into this, it becomes 2.5. 5 minus 5 raised to 1 by 2. 5 minus y raised to 1 by 2. This becomes 5 minus 1. You are integrating with respect to 1. 2.5 is outside. So this is 5 minus y upon 5 minus y whole square upon minus 2. Lower limit 1, upper limit 4. So just if you simplify, put the limits, it comes out to 18.7. So x bar is numerator upon denominator. Numerator is 18.75. Denominator is 10.437, which comes out to 1.796. Y bar is dA into y coordinate of centroid of elemental area upon dA. Denominator is ready with us. Numerator only we have to calculate. Numerator is what? dA. dA we have 2.23 no, is 5 minus y raised to 1 by 2 dy into y. Right? Open out the bracket. This 2.236 comes outside. Now, this is y into 5 minus y raised to 1 by 2 in dy. Now, you can have to use your integration knowledge to solve it. 2.2 is outside. y remains as it is. Integration of this part. 5 minus y raised to 3 by 2 upon minus 3 by 2. Minus. Integration sign. Then, differentiation of first. y is 1. Then, integration of second. 5 minus y raised to 3 by 2 upon minus 3 by 2. Uh, integrating with respect to 2.23. This, if you simplify it, it comes out to be minus 2 by 3y, 5 minus by 3 by 2, plus 2 by 3, minus minus becomes plus, 5 minus y raised to 5 by 2 upon minus 5 by 2, limits 1 to 4, lower limit 1, upper limit 4. We further simplify 2.236, minus 2 by 3y, 5 minus y raised to 3 by 2, minus 4 upon 15, 5 minus y raised to 5 by 2. Put these limits, simplify it, you get the value 24.452. So y bar comes out to be the numerator. 24.452 upon denominator 10.437, it comes out to be 2.343. So this way, students, we have discussed three problems uh, of uh, a centroid of area under the curve. Hope you all have understood it. So uh, there are a few more solved problems given in the book. 
all right you can always refer the book right if you want to refer to more problems or my mcqs uh, related to the respective topics okay thank you